The cyanins are plant pigments. Depending on the concentration present, they give red, pinks, blues, purples, and even black. They're complementary to chlorophyll in the absorption of light, chlorophyll being the green coloration. The cyanins are better known in autumn when the green chlorophyll starts to disappear, which once again shows the presence of the red. They may have other purposes, such as the protection of young leaves and young stems and so on from the effects of extreme temperature changes, particularly cold. The pigment may chemically deter insects. In addition, the red colour through the animal and plant kingdoms is seen usually as an indication of poison or some sort of danger, and this is thought to deter predators such as the grazers. The ultraviolet component of the spectrum of light is known to be particularly damaging to DNA, deoxyribose nucleic acid, present within the chromosomes of both animals and plants. It's particularly true in plants in early spring, when their leaves are very delicate. And it's thought the presence of the red pigment absorbs the UV light and protects the DNA from mutation. The plant pigments also absorb energy from sunlight. And it may be that the whole of the life on Earth in terms of presence of oxygen is down to the fact that plants, first of all, require to protect their DNA, and that this necess necessity resulted in an energy system that became what we know as photosynthesis. It also seems likely that the red colour of the leaves and other parts of a plant may divert the attention of grazers who normally go for green colours. Um, additional proof of this, or evidence, is in marquescence. Plants such as beech trees, hornbeam and some oaks retain their dead leaves. This puts the animals off from eating them, and that means it protects the buds which will develop in the next spring. In many plants, the anthocyanins may just play a, a rather minor role. The plant has the other defence mechanisms. Alternatively, some plants retain the dark red-pink colours throughout their lives, or are selected by horticulturalists as mutants, such as in the witch hazel. As the spring develops into summer, the anthocyanins become less important. The delicate leaves that came from the buds now develop into more sturdy leaves, less likely to be damaged, and the more important chlorophyll becomes to, to dominate, hiding the, the sign of the presence of the anthocyanins until the autumn. Highlighting the point about the anthocyanins having red colour warnings, here are two types of galls, one's a nail gall on a lime tree, Another one is a rose bedigar, or robin's pincushion, on a rose. The bright red coloration here is very obvious 